Hi there, my name is An, I'm with Creaform, and in this feature video, I shall demonstrate how to properly use the fill holes function in VX model. It is located under the improved section of the toolbar in the top middle of the screen. So let's begin with a little definition. What is a hole? A hole is characterized by an open boundary like the pink highlights you see here. Most likely, we were not able to penetrate these areas with our scanner due to a number of reasons. As you may know, 3D printing requires that you have a watertight SDL for the best results, meaning there should not be any leaking holes in our scan data. And that's why the fill holes function is probably the most used tool in VX model. So let's dive right in because there's a few things that I'd like to show you. There are three main modes inside of fill holes. There's hole, partial, and bridge. We'll start with the default mode called hole. It is a point and shoot operation. Simply highlight the boundary which you'd like to fill and click on it. Or you also have the option for multi-select. Here I'm selecting the first 20 boundaries and I can fill them all in with a single click of a button. They are listed based on increasing boundary lengths. So the first one will be the smallest, followed by the next one, and the next one, and the last one will be the largest. There are three filling methods that we can play with here. Experiment and see which ones use better results. Low and high curvatures are used for shapes with a natural curve. Flat is generally used for a flat feature like the bottom of this block. The option for smooth boundary layers will go back and potentially change the mesh prior to the boundary. Leaving it at zero will maintain the integrity of the boundary whereas any other values may result in a different shape. Now let's move on to the second fill hole mode, partial. Sometimes an open boundary may run in multiple different directions, making it impossible to fill in just one go. This is where partial comes in handy. Simply click on the first point, the last point, and the point in the middle shall determine the direction. Lastly, there's bridge. It is used to connect two separate boundaries together, or it can also be done on the same boundary. Click on the first point, last point, and middle point on the first side, followed by the first point, last point, and middle point on the other side. And then we have a bridge that connects the two sides together. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, and if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe for future videos.